So just to start off, what kind of stuff did you take from the Providence scrimmage? What did you learn about yourselves? What did you like and stuff like that? Where uh, do you have to get better? I think I mean, we learned as a team that, I mean, when we play hard, we can, we can play with just about anybody. Uh, uh, personally, I just think I learned about myself is that I, need, I needed a game like that. Coach Payne kind of talked about that, too. I needed a mm-hmm. game uh, to kind of, like, rough me up, you know, like kind of – just a super physical game like that. Why? Um, I mean, everybody kind of just needs a wake up. You know, I mean, once you think you, I've had like kind of a pretty progressive summer. I think I've gotten better all summer. And then, you know, somebody kind of just hits you, knock you up, make you, make you, bring you back to earth a little bit. Uh, everybody kind of needs that. So. Saying, saying all that, then, what, what do you want to see out of yourself Friday? Um, I mean, just. It's kind of the same aggression I've been playing with uh, all summer in practices and in their scout scrimmage and uh, a little bit late against Providence. Um, but yeah, just the same aggression, just the same demand it's for myself just to play hard uh, the whole time. Was it a positive experience, I guess, for you to have to play without no gel that cast you into a much more prominent yeah, sort of um, situation? Not that you've not been in that situation before, but. <laughs> yeah, we know about that. Uh, <laughs> But I think it was, I mean, at first it kind of like threw me off a little bit because I've been, mm-hmm. I'd, I haven't really done much one all summer. Uh, but, I mean, of course I played it all last year, so I kind of knew what I was doing. Right. Um, but, yeah, it just kind of threw me off a little bit at first thinking, like going in with a kind of a different mindset. Mm-hmm. Um, having, more, having to be more of like a, a creator or uh, someone that sets stuff up uh, rather than trying to make plays off the bounds. And, right. and Shooting the ball more. Right. So what's been the, what's been your balance this summer? Have you been mostly playing the two, then, or have you been alternating? Uh, I think I've been mostly playing the two. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably I'd say about seventy five percent of the time. Another twenty five is when um, No Joe's not on my team, <laughs> and him and Isaiah are on the same team. Yeah. In practice and stuff. So um, I mean, Coach Payne lets it be known that let it be known that I, I still have to know all. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of like all three spots, from the one to the three. Right. But definitely don't forget about the one. Right, right. Because, um, I mean, we have to, of course, we'll get in situations like we are now where I got to I gotta play the one again. Yeah. You mentioned you feel like you had a really good summer. You got better. Where does that show up most for you? Where do you feel like you've, you've improved the most, and how will that be most evident um, this season? I think I just got my head back up. Uh, mm-hmm. Not that I had it down per se, but I mean I kind of got back into a groove of just just still knowing how to play basketball. Still playing, still playing the way I like to play along with playing how yeah. we play here. Yeah. So um, I think you'll just see some, I guess you could say some old Eric and, and new Eric, a good combination of that. Right. right. Did you really <coughs> just from watching the little practice we've got to see, it seems like you've been you know, willing to attack more. Is that basically what, what you're saying, that you've had more maybe opportunity to, you know, take some people to the rim, basically, and, yeah. and try to attack that way? Yeah, I mean, that just comes with working mm-hmm. on my game, getting confidence back in myself, mm-hmm. which is what I've tried to do mm-hmm. uh, this whole, like, kind of off-season, per se. But, um, yeah, just, just just having confidence in myself again, I think you'll see the biggest thing. Just mm-hmm. How much of that confidence comes from just this team needing more from you than last year's team did? Uh, I mean, I think it just because it's kind of known and yeah. our teammate, my teammates and coaches let it be known that, I mean, that's what we need. And as well as me just wanting to get mm-hmm. back in a groove. I think that's just a good combination of that. It just kind of drives it for me. Are you ready to carry that confidence over into 20, 25 maybe? minutes a game. Yeah, uh, I think I'm, I'm ready to do that. I think I, I don't know how many minutes I played. I think I played around that much on Sunday. But, um, well, I mean, just being able to do that, do be that aggressive for a long period of time is something I know. I mean, it's not going to happen right away, but I just have to kind of teach myself, kind of put, get myself into that moment. Is that the challenge also for just the sophomore class in general to, to play at that level for <laughs> Uh, expanded yeah. minutes that it's going to be required from you yeah, guys? Yeah, I think you, I mean, you, if you were there Sunday, you could see <laughs> that that's what it was. Uh, I think, I don't, I don't remember how many, exactly how many minutes that we all played, at, like the sophomore class played right. together. 
But like last year we went from like eight to twelve, mm -hmm. and now it's like twenty. And we knew last year that we could play as hard as we we could during that time, and then we come get, we get a break. <laughs> so we basically just leave it all out there, and now it's like it's not like you have to pace yourself, but you just gotta learn how to just play that hard the whole time. Right. 